This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2020. A two-stage exchange arthroplasty is commonly used to treat chronic periprosthetic joint infections following a total knee arthroplasty, or TKA. However, there is no clear consensus on whether the interim antibiotic spacer used in this procedure should immobilize the joint using a so-called static spacer or allow for a range of motion via a so-called articulating spacer. To resolve this conundrum, a team of researchers conducted a multi-center randomized clinical trial to compare the benefits of static versus articulating spacers in patients undergoing a two-stage exchange arthroplasty for the treatment of chronic infection after a TKA. These patients were randomized to receive either a static or an articulating spacer. 49 of the 68 patients initially recruited with a minimum two-year follow-up were included in the final per-protocol analysis. The researchers found that compared to the static spacer group, the articulating spacers provided significantly greater post-revision range of motion and higher knee society scores at a mean of 3.5 years of follow-up. Moreover, static spacers were associated with a longer hospital stay following removal of the infected implant. The researchers also noted that static spacers were associated with a greater need for an extensile exposure at the time of reimplantation, as well as higher reoperation rates. Thus, when the soft tissue and bony architecture allow, an articulating spacer has significant clinical benefits over a static spacer for the interim management of an infected TKA.